A sigh of relief tonight for a city in crisis. Detroit is looking to move forward in the wake of a court decision that headed off certain financial disaster. 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Choden is live downtown. And Cheryl, where do we go from here? Well, Dave, they've got a lot of work to do to fix the city's finances, and the judge in Ingham County paved the way for that to happen. I'm glad the judge has decided, and we're going to move forward. A decision by an Ingham County judge today makes tonight a lot easier for the city council and the mayor to move forward now with a consent agreement that was no easy task to reach. That decision by Judge William Collette threw out the challenge to the agreement by Detroit's Corporation Counsel Crystal Crittenden. Tonight, she told me by phone, while I disagree with the judge's opinion, I do respect the rule of law. And as I have said before, this has never been about me, but about trying to have a very important legal question answered for the city of Detroit. She did what she thought was right, what she had to do, and I've never made it personal. I supported her right to do what she felt, and I won't even say what she felt, do what the charter empowered her to do. The next step in the process, says Pew, who appeared live on Action News at 5, will come tomorrow. As City Council approves the mayor and the governor's appointee for the Financial Advisory Board, which will oversee and approve any actions under the consent agreement. That appointee is one time state treasurer Robert Bowman. Council will also vote on their picks for the board. Then on Friday, the nine member panel will come together for the first time, meeting at Wayne State University in the afternoon. It is a start, says Council President Pugh, of a new day in Detroit. A time to put all this other drama behind them. The mayor and council, we weren't really fighting each other. What we were doing is uh, standing on principle, but all really fighting for the fiscal health of the city. Now, a final note, Crystal Crittenden says she still believes that her challenge was valid. She says she's worried the city will become so entrenched in the consent agreement and then someone will realize that she was right. That's what she's saying tonight. We'll have to watch and see what happened. Meanwhile, though, everyone is moving forward. Reporting live downtown, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News.